We've suffered every possible mishap, Mason. You were fired, and you still protect them no matter what? As if the police aren't going to find out that you work with the Sarmans, that you're working at trying to catch those kidnappers. And now you're making me lie about it too, Mason? You didn't say a word the whole time, so it isn't lying, Susie. Besides, did you happen to see who placed the bomb? For God's sake, is there anyone else around you trying to kill you that I should know? All right, that's the door. Go get it. <sighs> Who's here? Did something happen? Come in. <clears throat> Layla is home, I'm sure you've heard. I heard. Good news. I'm glad for you. Thanks. Uh, now she wants you to, I mean, as our lawyer, she'd like you to return Don't and Don't strain continue. yourself so much, Gerald. Tell your wife I've refused your kind offer. Just tell her it's my fault, and you can avoid the blame. You know she won't believe that story. In that case, you can try being honest. It's really quite simple. Just tell her I don't want that guy working for us, darling. It's your kid and your case. You have that right. You can hire whoever you want to replace me. Listen to me. I'm here because my wife forced me to come here to see you. You got that? You have absolutely no idea what I've been going through with my son. No, I don't. Do you have any idea what I've been through trying to find him? I have worked myself to the bone trying to help you. I'll come and talk to her if you like. I'll tell her I don't want the job and convince her. No, she won't be convinced. She's expecting you. She won't be convinced. You're the only one that she trusts. She doesn't trust me. Or anyone else for that matter. She'll only trust you. She only trusts you, Mason. Anyway, come over and have a chat. <clears throat> We'll see about the rest later, all right? Please excuse me. Of course, we'll talk later. So we're back on the case again, right? How should I know anymore? How should I? Hey, Mason, this case is no good. If your mother even knew one-tenth of what you'd been through so far. I mean, yes, we can pity the boy, his mother, and all that, but God help us, it's going to be the death of you and all of us. Let me make you some tea while you pull yourself together. Oh, man, that would be so great. I have a splitting headache now. <laughs> 